Welcome to Window Cooking's YouTube channel. Today, we are gonna talk about how to be fast. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. So what a big mistake that I see a lot of window cleaners do that makes them not as fast as it could be is doing one window at a time. So I have a row of windows here. That's a pretty easy row of windows, but you wanna do as many windows at a time as you can, as in keeping the same tools in your hand for as many windows, and then going back to using your detailing tools as far as your towel and your detailing squeegee. So I'll just demonstrate on these six windows really quickly what I'm talking about. What I'm gonna do is keep my mop in my left hand, the squeegee in my right hand, go all the way down, clean all the windows like that, way back use my detail and squeegee my towel at the same time to finish the windows. So what I'm doing there is I'm just making as least as many moves as possible. I'm switching out my squeegee as minimal, minimal times as possible. I'm pulling up my towel as minimal times as possible. Um, I see a lot of people with tons and tons of tools on their tool belt. You do not need to have six squeegees at a time on your tool belt. You don't need to have eight squeegees at a time on your tool belt. Um, for commercial, I usually only have an 18 and a 14. And then I'll put a 10 squeegee, 10 inch squeegee in my bucket, maybe along with my accelerator modded, modified combination tool. That's the extent of it. Um, I have my other tools always available there in my truck, but there is no reason to have a six inch squeegee for skinny windows, like on the side of storefronts. Um, you do not need to have a bunch of squeegees. I'll tell you this, if you eliminate having so many squeegees in your tool belt and try to get used to just using like your 18 for everything on a storefront, yes, there are some windows that are not gonna fit that 18 inch squeegee, but if you can get used to using as minimal amount of squeegees in your tool belt, you will be faster. Trust me, you'll be you'll be faster. I've run into this many times when I get into trying new stuff, uh, reviewing new tools, and I'll try to try a lot of different squeegees out, and I find my efficiency goes down. And that's because I'm thinking too much about, okay, should I use a 22 on this window? Should I use an 18 on this window? Should I use a 14 on this window? It doesn't matter. Just try to use one squeegee on all the windows unless that squeegee just really, really doesn't fit. You know, and, and that's a big suggestion to a lot of you guys um, that I think will really help you is eliminate as many steps as possible. And by doing that, just try to group them together as far as doing all your detailing at one time, doing all your squeegee and mopping at one time, as far as having them in your hands at one time. For you guys that are out there that are working with companies off commission, this is huge for you. And guys that are working on hourly, even owners, this, this can all really be helpful for you to be a faster window cleaner. So something good to get used to is always using two hands when you're cleaning windows. So if you're right-handed, usually you're squeegeeing your right and you're mopping your left hand. This will allow you to do things a lot quicker, get all the windows done, go back in detail, it'll go a lot faster. So for instance, I've got these garage doors, it'll go a lot faster like this. Let me show you. I do. I always try to use my squeegee in my left, my squeegee in my right after doing all uppers so that I save the most time. So it's always important to be changing out your tools as least amount of times as possible so that you're not going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Get all the windows done with two tools and then move on. So another helpful tool to have is a little pole. So on this roof that I do, the roof is just a little bit too high for me to reach. So with this, I can get that extra distance I need. Go 
Oh, messed up. Messed up again. And there you go. That little pole, it's also going to be used great if you're, if you're laddering something and it's just a little too tall. You can get up there, use that, and get that extra distance. So, little garlic short pole, very, very helpful tool to make you faster. One of the things you have to learn, one of the things you have to learn to be fast is to be able to clean with two hands. Now, how does that look? It's being able to just, at the same time that you're washing, you're squeezing off the water. And this is the movement right here. What I always do is I go to the top of my mop, I wash the top, I squeegee that, keeping my mop underneath. It's catching a little bit of the water, maybe not everything. I'm coming over and just letting it go down. The rest of the window. to make sure about though is that you do this mostly on maintenance cleans not cleans that are dirty if you're doing this motion you're only going over one pass if you're only going over one pass of the window like that most likely if it's really dirty when you squeegee it there'll still be kind of a streak left there because you didn't scrub the dirt hard enough and get it loosened up to squeegee off the window so i only use this method on um, jobs that we do once every four weeks once every two weeks or once every week uh, because I find that if I do this at homes, or if I do this at, you can't do it construction cleans. If I do this at places that are like once every quarter, once every six months, or once every year, it just doesn't work well enough. But um, it's also great inside places to catch your water. So I'll show you. All right there, I'm catching the water on my mop, which is really good. But to be fast, you've got to learn this technique and it really helps with, um, if it's a cold day and the sun is right on the glass or if the hot day and the sun is right on the glass, you're gonna to have to learn this method to be quick. This method has gotten me very quick and that I pretty much get anything done in a good amount of time if I need to with using this method. So I definitely strongly suggest using the two hand method for getting jobs done quick so number one tip for being fast is using combination tools you have a lot of choices you have the Unger vice versa which I don't have but I have the other three and there's actually a couple more than that so there is the Ettore backflip that's this guy uh, it's changed a little bit I don't have that golden glove on here but it's the Ettore backflip Mormon accelerator with the flip pad Blacktail High Flyer. These are all combination tools. My particular favorite is the Mormon Accelerator. I do have a brass channel on here. I don't have the liquidator, but it definitely saves a lot of time. With my second favorite being the High Flyer and then the Backflip. Really don't use the Unger, vice versa, but those are all combination tools that can make the job a lot faster. So the building behind me, we're gonna be doing second floor windows outside only and I'm going to be using the Marmon Accelerator tool with the flick pad to make this very quick. And I'm actually just going to do straight pulls. I'm not going to fan it. There's two straight pulls with a 14 inch. It's a two pull. And I'm actually going to make it fix. I'm not going to have it swiveling. And that will make it easy for me to do the second floor, which makes it, which makes it a fast tool. Alrighty. Thank you for joining us guys on Window Clean Resources YouTube channel. Remember to check back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And thank you for joining me as I talk some quick tips on how to be quick on your job. And Maggie says goodbye. Say okay, bye-bye, Maggie. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com on YouTube. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure to check back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you don't miss a video. And if you cry yourself to sleep without Stevo, check out his channel at Stevo the Window Cleaner on YouTube.